When we first came out here, we weren't respected as athletes. We were seen as uh, people just trying, but uh, what, what the Kenyans would say is not, not really trying. Being here alone just with my brother, I really believe that this is the only way that I'm going to get to the top. Over time we strived like, to get respect from the public and uh, a couple years on we started to have uh, breakthroughs and we gained that respect. You want to meet Brother Colin? Hey Colin. This is Jake. This is Zane. Zane! El Elvis. Nice Elvis. Yeah. Elvis Presley. Yeah, Elvis <laughs> Presley. He's not dead, man. <laughs> they came here when they were about 16. But I think they were very, very determined that we are going to try to go to a place where we believe. If you believe that this is the best place for you to be, and that then you're going to give your all. It's like the the guy the, 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 the guy in the gospel who, who, who sold all, gave all his money to, to buy the treasure. <laughs> you know, you give up everything to, to focus on this. So, so. Aye, aye, aye. So who is who? Who is who, man? I'm Elvis, man. I'm black hair. Where yeah. And then, yeah. Six. Six, six, six is good. Six is good. Man, six is good today. Man, I... Six is good. We're making your hotel. Six, six okay. Six yeah. is good. Today we're making your hotel famous. They're filming you, counting out your passy for us. I'm definitely coachable by someone who won't just have a look at me and just like, you know, they'll just change everything. I mean, obviously what I've been doing has been working, so they need to have a look at like what I've been doing as well. Kind of like what, I guess what happened with Mo, I guess Salazar did a good job with Mo. You can't coach an athlete from outside of Africa. I mean, like, we're here, we're with, like, masses of people. you got to go with the people, you know, if the program's fitting. And then a coach can say, do this or do that. But here, they don't know the, they don't know the like, landscape. They don't know the altitude, the weather. There's so many variables they can't control here. They just, like, do this program. What are you going to do? Do it alone? You're not going to get a benefit. Probably not going to finish it. I know them. When uh, from uh, Mombasa 2007, when they came, and uh, the first uh, camp uh, that uh, where they, they came here without money, without anything. What I can say is uh, that uh, five years of this life no, uh, changed a lot their mind. They are really very much mature. No? Five years ago, we were a little bit uh, uh, two young, uh, young uh, boy that uh, with also some idea. Not, uh, you needed to know Africa. Africa is not easy. Here there is one problem every day, practically. So they are, are used to live in the middle of problems. I'm just chilling out. Yeah, welcome to my mess. Yeah, basically, this is my race care. I used it last week in the cross country. As you can see, it's got no brands on it. I cut the brands off. I, I want to run with this singlet until I get sponsored. No, rep no free representation here. Yeah, word up. Yeah, this is the uh, water storage. Just take a bucket shower here. Cold water, no luxuries here. 
And uh, this is my real camp. This is where I just leave, leave mom everything. Mattress on the floor. That's it. Mo's victory in the Olympics was like, seeing Mo win was like special to me because I knew him from 2006 when he was just still coming up, and he was like seeing us, you know, a, a good athlete but still a nobody to the big boys, like, and uh, just shows how someone can have a breakthrough and all of a sudden be the champion, like smashing everybody all the time. Yeah, uh, to win. And the Olympics is the biggest victory, so it's amazing. We met him when he was still coming up and still nothing, like, and he was just a 13, 19 runner, just like Jake, and um, I guess if he can make it, then anyone can make it. So what's the run today, Jake? Uh, 20 mile, 32k. Yeah. Going down this way, and then around and going towards Eldoret. What do you expect the pace to be? No idea. Just following what's, what's going on, like, I think Mo might push it along a little bit, but uh, I'm just following, so, no matter what the pace is. Mo down there? Mo's really sick. Yeah, he's sick. Ye yesterday, I'm going to put him. Yeah. Oh. Man, so we're going anyway, man. If you guys had gone to the States, you'd be pretty, pretty quick. In the earlier days, like maybe two years into staying here, I had thoughts about it, because still the schools were, you know, calling me up and saying, you know, there's a place for you, you should think about it, you know, we do all this for our athletes, and I'm like, I got one pair of training shoes, one tracksuit left, and I'm sleeping on the floor, you know? <laughs> Definitely I had thoughts about it, but I was like, I never thought about giving up. It was either go there and try again, but I just, uh, I felt like my life was already sitting up here. Last K was 3.31. In some way, we enjoyed suffering. Like, we felt like, you know, the top athletes come from this hard life. We need to suffer. But in that same transition, we got trapped there, and then we stopped enjoying it. So, in a way, we're going through exactly what they went through and trying to find our way out. I want the people of Eten to say, 
you know we saw we saw those guys and where they came from and they've worked hard and now they've got what they were looking for The last 10k I was moving at 309, 310 for the average. The slowest was 315 I saw <coughs> for one of the 1k's splits. Yeah, nice man. Yeah, you finished? Yeah. That's a one that's a one hour fifty. I was gonna break Zane's time. I should have done it just so he could just shut up, you know? One hour 44 for 30.4k. Yeah, okay. yeah, <laughs> I was going to beat my brother's time. <laughs> yeah, they were running a junior and I was just uh, making my break for you as a senior. So they were, they were young at the time and, you know, we would never sort of imagine sort of them guys coming out here for such a long time and trying to live an African life. Um, I don't know how they manage it. <laughs> I came out here and people didn't think it was right, you know? Yeah, now. But now? What do you think, man? Yeah, no, like... it definitely is right, because this is where the <laughs> Champions League is. One thing, you have to believe in yourself. You have to believe in yourself as always, as you, as you know. And um, it's hard work and week and week out training and putting hard work in. And I can't believe how far they come along, um, to be honest with you. As a junior, it's one thing you're good at junior, but to make it through as a senior, it's never as easy. And these guys are doing it and working hard and, you know, they always want to learn. And, uh, the people here, here doesn't see him as a Mzungu, I think they see him as a Kenyan Mzungu guy. <laughs> <laughs>